In the top right, playing Sedge, we have Poker Brat, aka T-Tam, versus Cleaner Code in the bottom left, playing Wolfar. Seen a lot of Wolfar, definitely a very strong pick on this map. This is definitely a map where you will see one side pick, <clears throat> one side build like a golem or a dragon on the side their commander isn't, just to defend. And Wolfar is very good in those situations. Uh, these are two of the strongest players in their respective regions. So this is the Pacific Standard Time bracket. Etan, definitely a, a very improved player, has come a long way, I would say, in the past like six months. Cleaner Code, just a very, very strong player in general. Sadly, didn't went out early-ish in the rounds for the last group of war but had a very strong opponent who also went really far so no shame in that all right and we're seeing some variants here <clears throat> so this village on the right getting taken down by t-tam cleaner code's electing to just go for the heal and actually it does the smart thing and Heals here and is gonna probably go for the decapture on this village. And builds Groove at the correct time because if you get it too early, it doesn't do anything. Ooh, knocks down this village. Nice. Damages the sword with the dog and has everything in position to follow up and punish anything that hits this dog. So Cleaner Code's getting a really clean turn there, no pun intended. And it's like, do you dedicate more resources to? attack this dog and then lose those or do you just pull back Unico is just being really methodical on this aggression on this side and yeah just pulls back on the side where the commander you know ooh, something i wasn't really looking at was sedge is really close to having groove could potentially get it if he's able to hit this village next turn or just kill a unit and then you've got an active Sedge very early in the game. And yeah, you can actually hit this village here. We choose to, yep. And there we go. Sedge is active. Going to be active at the start of turn eight. This groove. Not the best units to go with it. Although I guess like the mage is quite nice. The knight is quite nice too. Sword crits can come in. A little bit awkward. Cleaner now finally taking this village down. It does injure a mage to do so. And slightly vulnerable position for the sword on that village takedown, but not the end of the world. And ooh. Dragon's a little bit of a, I'd say almost an unfortunate choice. Ooh, but Sedge is moving north. Uses the balloon, pulls back. Oh, I love that archer. Just softens up that sword. Dog runs in, hits it for free. And now Wolfar has to kind of pull back himself. He can't fight into this much by himself when he's injured. He can't stand in groove, he will die. And Sedge is such a huge threat now because there are things that Sedge will do and allow for like one mage or one witch will kill a dragon with sedge because sedge will be able to groove it after them and now just moves back forces the retreat on wolfar threatens fakes and then moves back or well, not even really fakes because just shoves cleaner back on the left hand side and then just says well i'm gonna go attack your vulnerable side now and you know what can cleaner do like run up and hit this village he hasn't used groove yet he got groove so much earlier in this game and he's just been forced to sit on it kills a unit an injured unit with a dog that is far from ideal moves edge back up again i wonder if this is just going to repeat over and over 
Alright, what are we going to see here? Is this archer going to do anything? And again, it starts to slow down as the unit count crawls up. Okay, archer pulls back. Could have seen the archer just stand and crit with Wolfire. Alright, but we're going to think dog crits clear up this mage. Not as much anti air anymore, but there is. Actually, I say that there's like two mages and a witch. Absolutely fine. Okay. Takes the knight down. Deals damage. Ooh, huge hit on that dragon. And actually, the witch will be able to run up and hit it. So. Yeah. Golem doing down to low health. Well, funnily, it's at 20%. So, you know, a big. Mage heal will push it back up to like maximum crit damage. But T Time needs to fight into this. This is way too much coming in. Alright, we're gonna see a whole bunch of sadistic rush come out this turn. So many targets to do it with as well. Alright. Alright, that spear is just gonna clean that up. Golem runs it. Oh, wow. That's so good. <gasps> That's actually going to be in range, I believe. One, two, three, four. Oh, not quite in range for the dragon. Oh, that's so painful. Just going to sadistic rush to deal damage? And gets the surround and a big heal. You almost never see that. And how is Wolfer going to get out of this? T Town wins. That's so cool. I'm just going to geek out a bit here. You almost never see a Sedge just throw out their groove like that, not to get a kill, but just to damage, so... Because there's no counter-attack. And if you hit, like, Sedge will take counter-attack damage and potentially be open to getting killed in return. But if you just go for the, the sadistic rush, like, you're at full health. That's so cool. That's, like, a really solid surround as well, like... So difficult to break. Actually, I don't even think you can. I think, well, you could potentially kill the golem, but you'd just leave Wolfar there. And even Sedgehorn in chat is like, I'm impressed. But we'll play to tea time. 